Welcome, Mario here from Fortuits.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add files to your database. This process is also called indexing. When you add files to an image database, the files stay exactly where they are. iMage does not require you to copy your files into the database or into a special folder. Instead, iMage creates an index of all the files by extracting metadata, a thumbnail and other information and storing that in the iMage database. For this tutorial, I have created a small sample folder with two subfolders and each folder contains a number of images. To add this folder to your database, you just drag and drop it from Windows Explorer into the Media and Folders view in iMage. Yes, I want to add them. iMage now performs the indexing process in the background and while this happens, uh, the file window displays the files as being in uh, processing. Now the files have been processed and the thumbnails are ready. Now we can start using uh, these files in iMage. Let's see what we have got so far. On the left side of the Media and Folders view, you see the Media and Folders tree. This is similar to the tree you know from Windows Explorer, just with a lot of additional functionality added. When I expand the C disk in this tree, you can see that the demo folder and all subfolders have been added to the database. When I hover the mouse over one of these folders, iMage displays the thumbnails of the first 10 files in that folder. This makes it very easy to find a folder just by hovering the mouse. When I click on a folder in the tree, iMage displays the files in that folder in the file window on the right. We explain everything about the file window in additional tutorial videos. Let me just uh, zoom out the file window so we can see all the files. When you open the Properties panel and fix it by clicking on the thumb, you can see uh, all the information iMage has recorded uh, about that folder, uh, like file size, how many files are in the folder, how many files are in the subfolders, how much disk space uh, does the folder consume. When you click on a disk node, you can see uh, the uh, amount of uh, free space on that disk and other important information. The Folder Filter panel allows you to quickly search for all folders with a specific name. Like in this case, I just type Lara to find all folders containing the term Lara. You can also use the filter to limit the display of folders to folders containing a specific uh, name. This does not make that much sense for a small database like this, but if you have later a database with thousands of folders, it can be very handy uh, to reduce the number of displayed folders in this panel. As always with iMage, when you right-click on something, iMage opens a context menu. This context menu presents all available commands for the clicked object, in this case a folder. It also shows you the associated keyboard shortcuts, which are often easier and quicker to use than going through the menu. Another feature of the Media and Folders view are the folder counts. The first number indicates how many files are in the folder itself, and the second number indicates how many files are in all subfolders combined. Now let's look a bit closer at one of the files we have just imported. I left-click the file to make it the active file or focused file, and then I click on the metadata panel um, on the right side to open it. I pin the panel so it stays open and then we'll have a look at the metadata imported for this file. If your metadata panel looks different, just make sure that the image info layout is selected in this drop-down box. In the upper section, iMage displays the rating and label of this file. This file has a rating of 4 and a bluish uh, label color. This information is also repeated in the file window on the left. The camera dashboard displays the most relevant shooting information like ISO speed, uh, shutter speed, aperture and information about the lens used, if available. Below the dashboard, iMage displays the image histogram. 
Below the histogram, the metadata browser displays all the metadata IMHS uh, imported from your files. And this can be a lot for raw files, as you can see here. Some raw files have hundreds of values in this list. All this data is available in your database and can be used for features like sorting, searching, categorization, and many other of the awesome IMAGE features. For all practical purposes, we usually use the default layout, which has been designed to make displaying and editing the most relevant metadata fields as easy as possible. We will explain all the features available in the metadata panel and all the other panels in separate tutorial videos. For now, we just recap. We have created our database and done the initial configuration. We have added some files and are now ready to start managing and using these files in iMatch. Definitely one of the most important features in iMatch is the integrated context sensitive help system. Whenever you need information or help or guidance for an iMatch feature, just press F1 on your keyboard. This opens the context sensitive help. For example, I click in the media and folders tree to make it the active window and then press F1 on my keyboard. This opens the corresponding help topic in the iMatch help system. At the top of every help page, you'll find the table of contents, which you can expand by clicking. To jump to one of the highlighted topics, just left click or use the scroll wheel on your mouse to navigate by hand. On the contents tab in the help, you'll find an overview of all available help topics. When you're looking for something specific, Switch to the index tab and just type in the search word to find all uh, related topics.